the families that we're working with, they're under a tremendous amount of stress. They come to us with a heavy heart. They typically don't give themselves breaks and we're with them every step of the way. We recognize immediately that it's important that this is a very big emotional journey for families. We like to introduce them to our community staff immediately um, so that they can ask questions from our different experts of you know, what it's like to take this journey and how do they look at it as a new part of their life in which their loved one or their spouse can really have a wonderful experience and thrive in our Maplewood communities. I think something that really sets Maplewood apart from all of my years of experience has been the training that we do with all the staff. It's an emotional approach. It doesn't matter what position you're in, whether you're in dining services, you're a resident assistant, you're a nurse, you're trained right from the beginning. In addition, we're always doing ongoing in-services every month. It's all about dignity and how people are approached on a day-to-day -day basis that really sets us apart. At the end of the day, if the staff and the people are trained and they're committed to the residents, it makes all the difference. The design makes a big difference in our residents' lives on a daily basis. The color contrast of our doors to the floors, and if you look at one of our chairs, just indicating to them of where they should sit makes a big difference as you start to lose your depth perception. Even in the flooring, not high styled patterns or colors, so it makes it easier to navigate. One of the things that um, people notice is at the end of a hallway, there's actually a sitting area that prompts you to sit down and have a conversation, as opposed to having an exit door that's prompting you to leave. The light obviously is something that helps us as we age in general, and all of the hallways are lined with light. Immediately in the, in the morning, bringing light in and making the entire place more cheerful. There's so many beautiful areas in the communities. The families immediately take to having the indoor potting rooms. We can garden in the winter, able to grow our own herbs that we can use right in our kitchen. The pubs are kind of a fun atmosphere. You can bake in them, you can cook in them. Um, we're making milkshakes. We're you know, listening to the sports games that are on. They're ordering a cocktail. Next week, we have a lady coming in to do watercolor painting. Um, the residents are really looking forward to it. They're gonna all paint a fall scene, and they just really enjoy themselves, whether they're reinventing themselves or participating in a hobby that they've always done and loved. You'll often see them in the libraries reading, looking through our large collection of books. They love the beauty salon. Just the beauty of it, just going there feels like a spa experience. I love that we really try with all the families now that are so you know, spread out amongst this country and other countries living and the grandchildren. One of our goals is to really help them stay connected. We utilize technology through our Skyping room. Just the other day, we were able to help a gentleman that lives with us from Pittsburgh Skype with one of his college roommates in another state. Just helping families stay connected to their loved ones with our Touch of Heart program. They're able to send video messages, voice messages, as well as upload pictures into Touch of Heart, and we love watching them interact with their families. Everything that we do has thought, design, and research put into the design. My favorite part of the job, without a doubt, is the residents. Every day I wake up, I'll think about my day and what needs to be done, but I'll always think about why I'm doing it and who I'm doing it for. It gives me a sense of purpose to everything I do here. The Maplewood culinary experience is like no other. I love the open dining concept. As we age, our senses change. We begin to lose our hearing. We're not able to see as well. Our sense of smell decreases. When you think about open dining, you can now enter the dining room. You see the chef. He's interacting with the residents. You can smell the aroma coming from the kitchen, the beautiful colors of the food. Everything is fresh. It's so important that they have the nutrition that they need, but also that it becomes a real experience. It's a complete sensory experience. I mean, the food's one of the most important aspects aspects of their day. So what I serve them, you know, I like to see them brighten up at it, to be happy with it, to enjoy it, to eat it. Some people might have worked uh, third shift their whole life and they might not want to eat until later at night. They might want to sleep in. So we, we're very fortunate that we're able to address those concerns and we're able to just to provide the best dining experience that's humanly possible. 
it's important for them to see me and to see all my crew back there uh, cooking their food. You know, we're not hidden behind doors. We're right out in the open with them. And it's just, it's a beautiful farm table dining experience that we bring to our residents on a daily basis. It's their house, it's their kitchen, it's their dining room. And, you know, we want to make sure that they get the full experience. I hear an incredible amount of positive things, which makes us all very proud. They're constantly bringing up the staff and how they treat their family members like family. Not only their approach with them, but just how they're warm, how they're loving, how they treat them like they're one of their parents, makes all the difference. We personalize everything that we do. We get to know the residents, the families, all of their likes and dislikes, and the staff is not only trained on you know general techniques and approach, but also um, really getting to know our residents and how we incorporate their likes and dislikes into their daily living, whether it's um, things that they enjoy doing or have always done in the past, just really introducing a personalized approach into everything that we do.